I have no life. I'm on an org. I have 18k earned and 60k plus PR. I could probably become a tier one pro. Yo, what is up, boys? It's Jay. Welcome back to another episode of Road to Tier One Pro. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be looking at a solo cash cup where Seabear uh, placed third, and he had four wins in a row here. With um, three of the wins, he had. Um, or two of the wins he had one kill and one of the win he had three kills um, And I just thought that was really interesting and I've never had time to look at these games and see what he was doing um, If you ask any good players, it's almost harder to get one kill wins Than it is to get say like a five kill win because you're playing end game and you need to get refreshes um, To you know for mats and and whatnot um, So to get just a one kill win um, is actually could be arguably more difficult than than more kills so i'm gonna go and look at what he did um and you know just try to figure out what he's doing that i'm not um to be able to win four games in a row like this um so we're gonna look at these three games and yeah let's get into the video okay so the first thing to note is that he does land at um what is this called cape cod um and he fishes um I'm guessing he boats out of this fight. Well, this guy just pads away. He's going to chase him down and not be able to get it. All right, let's skip to endgame and see what his loot is going into it. Um, So this was his three kill win. Um, Not his one kill win. Let's see what type of work loot he's working with. Okay, so he plays spi uh, spicy fish and he's got a launch pad. two free kills um now let's see how he plays this end game without getting a single kill so the only kill he gets here is for the win um first moving is on i okay he has two pads he has uh four four three and a half pretty much and two spicy fish so his loot is really good Looks like he's gonna play height, which I'm honestly surprised about. He's doing a lot of damage here, but he can't seem to find any kills. He still has two spicy fish as well. So I'm guessing that this game is pretty much just gonna ride height out. And then he kills the last guy. Alright. Uh, nothing special there, really. I mean, he just played height. Um, he didn't even use a spicy fish to take height. Um, so let's look at the one kill win games and see what he does in this. Okay, game number two. He's at the same drop spot. Um, I'm assuming he's going to start fishing. Oh my god, his only kill here was off spawn, I just realized. So he doesn't even get a kill for the entirety of endgame. I'm going to skip right to the endgame here. Um, let's look at his loot going into half zone. Okay, he's got three pads and a chug jug cannon. But no kills. He's gonna pad first. Probably gonna pat again here. Looks like he's looking to chop height out. Whew. 
questionable play, but... And then he build fights for height here. He's got really good mats. He's got Chugjo Cannon. He might just ride out height for this whole game. It's probably what happens. He's got plenty of ammo. From the llama, I'm assuming. You know, what's funny to me is that the cash cup where I had like top three or top five every single game I played, I placed like 13th in that. Um, I didn't play height like once. I played low ground the entire time and I didn't have a lot of kills either. But here he does the opposite. He wins the games with no kills and he played height. That was a one kill win. It's pretty interesting. Um, if he goes for height in this third game, then obviously we know uh, we know what the common common factor is here. To be honest, when I was uh, when I was going through or when I was planning on making this video, I thought he was going to be using aliens, spicy fish, hot floppers, um, and I thought he was going to be playing like low ground and just using his mats and. Like, that, that's kind of what I pictured here. I did not expect him to just be kind of cranking for height and using his, his builds um, until they ran out. I can't believe he gets one kill wins, two of them in a row. That's kind of absurd. Okay, going into endgame here, his loot is nothing special at all. He has one pad and six minis. Um... I'm guessing he's probably going to reuse a pad here to save his. He's actually getting hit by Storm Surge, too. Yeah, he's popped all of his minis now. He's still getting hit by Storm Surge. Or no, he's not anymore. Okay. Now he's got 116 health. He's gonna get a refresh shortly. Let's see how he gets this kill here. Luckily, he gets it got in this guy's box. Um, he pretty much caps his mats out here. He doesn't have a pad. Working his way up the hill. Zone plays back to him, luckily. Now he's able to pop his big. And I'm assuming he goes for height. No, he doesn't. I thought for sure he was going to go for height. Surely he goes right. Actually, chops height. He doesn't get the kill for it though. Now he has it. Not to be, uh, not to be like a sea bear hater or anything, but I honestly don't believe a tournament like this could happen uh, two times in a row. I don't think this is like, I don't think this is consistent. I mean, he hasn't been contested for height on um, any of these games really. Nobody with peppers, floppers, uh, floppers, hop, flop fish, whatever, whatever it's called, hop floppers, bruh. No one has contested him. No one's padded on him. So I think I think he got a little bit lucky in terms of um, nobody contesting him height, um, but he did play really well in when he went for high ground, um, and I think that I don't know this is very interesting cash cup. So I guess the takeaway here is that height wins games, um, especially in solos. Um, I'm not gonna 
you know, watch this 10 kill win for the Cash Cup. It is his first game, so it's probably pretty standard in terms of a first game. Yeah, that's uh, that's something to think about. I hope you guys enjoyed this VOD review. I'm going to be streaming FNCS all weekend. Make sure to drop a like and a sub and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.